Hello dear students, welcome to the fourth semester and our subject is uh, quantitative techniques for business. So this lecture we are explaining the syllabus of your the quantitative techniques for your the business. What are the syllabus? What are the modules relating with the, the quantitative techniques for business? This is one of the important subject for the fourth semester BCOM degree and the course code is a BCM for C04. That's a card for the, the quantitative techniques for the, the business. Okay. And this is the lecture hours and the encouragement and the mark and examination pattern. And lecture and the five hours, the, the quantitative techniques have the five, hour, five hours per week and four credit and 80 marks are the external and 20 mark is the internal. And examination is a 2.5 hours. So this is a criteria for the quantitative technique for the business. So the five hours per week and four credits and 80 marks are external and 20 marks are internal. An examination have 2.5 hours. That means two and a half hours for the examination. This final examination. And what is the objectives of this study? What is the objectives for studying the concept of the quantitative techniques? One of the important objective for this top is subject to familiarize student with use of quantitative techniques in managerial decision making. That means an aptitude is very important. Suppose you are writing a banking examination, the aptitude, QT is very important, the quantitative techniques are very important. To, that means the one of the important objective is to familiarize student with use of the quantitative techniques in managerial decision making. So that is one of the important objectives of the quantitative technique for business. Okay. I am discussing the module wise arrangement of the quantitative technique, the module wise arrangement of this subject. Okay, the first module, this is the first module and we have the 10 hours for the first module and the 10 marks from this first module and expecting the 10 marks from the first module. At the first module, we will discuss what is the quantitative techniques and introduction, meaning, definition, classification and the discipline, applications in the business limitations of the QT. These are the first module. These are element of the first module. So we will discuss what is the quantitative techniques. What is the quantitative techniques? That means the techniques for the decision making. So introduction, meaning, the definitions, classification, applications and the limitations all are the important elements of this first module. And normally uh, we will expect 10 marks. We can expect 10 marks from this module and 10 nervous for this module. And as per the lectures, we have allotted the 10 nervous for this uh, module. Okay. So that's the first module. The first module is purely related with the introduction to the quantitative techniques and limitation, meaning, importance. These are the contents of this first module. And the second module, the, so one of the important module, uh, that module is related to the correlation and regression. What is a correlation and what is a regression? Then meaning of the correlation and regression. Methods of the correlation, that means Carl Pearson correlation, rank correlation, Spearman correlation. And also discuss it regression. That means method of the regression, uh, two line of equation, the y on x, x on y, and coefficient of determination. These are the major element of the second module. What is the correlation? The correlation means it's like a relation between the two variables. One is x, another one is a y. The relation between x and y is representing the correlation. And what is a regression? Regression means it's a cause and effect relationship. There is a cause and effect relationship. So that term is known as the regression. So what are the methods for the correlation? Normally three important methods. There is a Carl Pearson correlation coefficient. The Spearman rank correlation, concurrent deviation. And these are the methods for the correlation. And what, how to draw the regression? That means two line of equation can be created. One is x on y, another one is y on x. You can easily create the two line of equation, the y on x and the x on y. Okay, these are the elements of the second module. That is a correlation, regression, Carl Pearson, and also determination of the coefficient these are the important elements of the second module. And we have the 20 hours. As per the lecture point of view, we have the 20 hours. And we have the 20 hours and the, can expect 20 marks from this module. We can expect 
20 marks from this module. So 20 hours per week, uh, as per total working hours, 20 hours for this module. And we can expect 20 marks from the second module. Okay, that is the second module, the correlation and the regression. Okay, and third module is set theory. I think you have the favorite set theory in your the third, um, third semester. That means uh, Venn diagram, uh, then union, then also inter, um, uh, then means probability, the concept of the probability, uh, definitions, theory of the probability. That means you are the additional theorem, uh, additional theorem, base theorem. That means a lot of theory. So the third module relating with your the probability and the probability distributions. That means the theory of the probability, uh, then addition theorem, then condition theorem, then set theory. These are the important elements of third module. And normally 15 hours. And this third module have 15 hours. And uh, we can expect 15 marks from the third module. So it's a pure relating with your the uh, uh, set theory. That means connected with third semester. That means it's a union and B integral A, A integral B. And these are the important elements. That means B by A. This is a lot of the condition for the probability. So third module is relating with the purely probability and the set theory. Okay, that is the third module. And the fourth module is related to probability distributions. The fourth module can expect 20 marks. We can expect 20 marks from the fourth module. And the fourth module discussing the theoretical distribution like the binomial, Poisson distribution, normal distribution. These are the important distribution relating with the uh, theoretical distribution, how the prob uh, binomial distribution related, how the Poisson distribution related, how the normal distribution related, and what is normal standard curve. These are the basic contents of this uh, fourth module that is a theoretical distribution. So, binomial, Poisson, and normal distribution. And we have 20 hours for this lecture and expecting 20 marks. We can expect the 20 marks from this module. We can expect 20 marks. Okay. And last module is like here the decision making, this linear programming. The last module is relating with the linear programming. The last module we discuss the quantitative approach of decision making, types and steps in the decision making, the decision tree analysis and the model building steps, how to build a model. There is a linear programming and mathematical formulations and solution of the LPP. These are the elements of the fifth module as for the fifth module point of view we discuss a decision tree analysis at the decision making point of and the model building linear programming the concepts of the mathematical formulation and LPP these are the important element of the last module so we can expect 15 marks from this module and allowed only the 15 hours and the 15 hours for this uh, module okay these are the five important modules uh, and after that the reference book uh, normally we use the books of the lr uh, quantitative techniques uh, these are the standard books relating with the qt the richard uh, levin sp gupta and kapoor very sharma and all of the all of the standard books all books are the standard books can be referred for the quantitative tactics okay then let me conclude the once again uh, this lecture is purely for introducing the syllabus of your the quantitative techniques and as per the quant techniques Quantitative techniques, uh, we have the 5 hours per week and 4 credit and 80 marks are internal, sorry external and 20 marks internal. What is the objectives of this subject? The One of the important objectives to familiarize students with the quantitative techniques in their many decision making. That is the objective of this subject. And the, there are the 5 important modules. The first module is regarding the introduction of the quantitative techniques. And we can expect the 10 marks from the first module and normally 10 hours. And second module relating the correlation and the regression. So we can expect 20 marks from this module and 20 hours and regression, correlation and the types of the correlation, methods of the correlations are the important elements of the second module. And third module uh, is relating set theory and the probability. Probability action, the probability theories and Bayes theorem. These are the elements of third module. And 15 marks for third module and expect the 15 hours. Okay. And the fourth module related in the theoretical distributions like the binomial, Poisson and normal distribution and standard normal curve and the fitting are the important elements of the fourth module. 
and there's 20 hours for this module and expert the 20 marks and the last module relating with the LPP that's uh, the content techniques for the decision making the decision tree analysis linear programming all of the important elements of the fifth module okay and this uh, we can expect the 15 marks from this module and we have allowed we have the 15 hours and these are the references book are used for the quantity technique these are the standard books and normally we, we will use the uh, lr put textbook that is uh, uh, quant techniques for the business and these are the standard books are used for the references in the quantity techniques point of view okay anyway thank you thank you so much and thank you for watching me